Oh, what is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and it's been a while. It's been a very long while. Walter is back. We are back. The past few days have been very lonely, says the shade. Oh, Walter, I'm so sorry. Thank you all for being so patient in letting me get back to this game. The last we left off, obviously, we needed to wait for this mushroom to grow, and in between all of that time, I obviously started up a couple series, and they ended up taking much, much longer than I anticipated. Uh, so it was difficult for me to kind of get back into this and make sure we had another episode. Um, but I wanted to obviously come back in here, explore these other endings. I think it is finally time for Walter to find the cliff's edge. It's another Walter Wednesday, after all. Uh, and I really don't want to do it to him, but we I think we got to do it. I think we got to do it. Um, this specific ending is going to be coming up pretty quickly. So for the remainder of this episode, it's probably going to be somewhat brief little video for you all, but uh, I'll kind of prep and make sure that uh, we have everything set up for a future ending. Um, so after we do this, there's a couple more endings that we can do. One is just to completely wait for the king, uh, which obviously we can try speeding that up by using some of the time mechanics of this game. Also, if you have not seen any of the longing so far, Go check out the entire playlist that I have for this, if this is your first time stumbling upon this. Um, I've already done a complete playthrough of this game overall, and wanted to do some extra videos to explore some of the future... Uh, not future, but some of the other endings that are available to us. So right now, obviously, uh, fair warning for spoilers and everything like that. Um, so this particular section is going into the darkness and we need to be able to um, find the cliff edge. Normally, as we're going through this, you are able to find a, uh, a secret just walkway that goes up and above where we're at right now, but this complete darkness hides that from us unless we have a glowing mushroom with us the entire way through. Um, we already know what happens if you continue to go up through the caverns, you start to get to the outside world, which also leads you to many, many other unique kind of secret things. Um, but yeah, for this specific playthrough, we're just going to focus on what happens at the cliff's edge, which is the <laughs> the ending I want to do the absolute least, because it, to my knowledge, Walter's just going to be hurt. Um, and we'll see. We'll see how this evolves here momentarily. I remember this being so creepy when I first <laughs> discovered it was coming through all of this. It's just so dark and spooky. And then with some of the other endings as well, again, either wait for the king or... This place is so dark that even I can't see anything without a light. I know, Walter. I know. Uh, so wait for the king is one of them. Gather all the crystals is another. Um, so we've, we've have a, a couple different pathways to kind of proceed with this. I'm really curious what gaining the crystals will do for us, though. Hmm. Okay, we're standing back up. It means we're going to be much closer to the cliff edge. Oh, I hate it. I hate this. Poor Walter. Walterus Maximus! little glowing yellow eyes. I remember the uh, developer posted on Twitter just quite a while ago. I think he was like making a uh, little figurine, like limited run of figurines of The Shade. This is the actual name. Uh, and I was like, oh, I need it. I need it. I don't think he's actually selling them, but I needed it so bad. Just my own little Walter. Music is getting intense. Music is getting really intense. It means we must be close. Maybe I should turn back. I'm starting to hear strange sounds. 
It's all in your mind, Walter. It's all in your mind. Don't worry about it. And, and honestly, I may be completely wrong with the cliff ending. Like, I don't know if this is an actual ending. I just assume it has been this whole time. So... I don't see anything else on the screen other than darkness. I can't tell if it's zooming out a little bit or not. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely zooming out. So that means I'm getting close to the edge. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm trying to see on my screen. I can't tell. Oh, yep. Here we go. Here we go. There's some light. Walter, no! What do, you, what do you guys think is gonna happen? I'd love to hear in the comments like what you think the ending for this is. I can feel my end nearing. Oh, Walter, no. No! I have to do it, though! I have to do it! I haven't played this game in so long, but it's still like, <laughs> it's still like heartbreaking. I got, I can't do it, but I have to do it. I have to do it. I need to see what these endings are. Oh, Walter. I'm sorry, Walter. abyss. The right place for my soul? Or dot dot dot. Okay, this is different than I anticipated. Uh, dot dot dot. The right place for my soul. I could end my longing right here. Oh, I don't want to do it so badly. the end? I only have one life. Oh no! My longing will be ended forever. There won't be a way back, a way back after this. <laughs> end the game. You can't play again. Or dot dot dot. It is very, very effective that the developer adds this in to where intentionally you're not supposed to be playing this game multiple times like I'm doing. Um, so if you happen to get to this cliff edge on your first playthrough and you get to this, you've got to really, really decide that you no longer want to play this game again. Okay, let's do it. still running. Slowly fading to black. Oh, Walter, I'm sorry. So quiet. Three, zero. And that's it. The longing. Oh. oh, that's such a such a sad bad ending. Oh man, not bad as in like, oh that sucks, but like 
It's just not a good ending. Don't choose this ending ever if you plan to play this game. My goodness. I don't know why anyone would choose this. Choose this intentionally. Ah. <sighs> okay. Let me go ahead and get this set back up to start a whole new playthrough. Uh, it should just take a minute here, I would assume. The longing has been willfully ended. A soul is lost in the abyss and shall be forever alone. see any other messages that are given to us <clears throat> hmm. I think that's it there's nothing else to be done oh <laughs> didn't mean to do that huh okay so give me a minute I'm gonna try to reset the game so that it allows me to play it again um, and yeah, I'll jump back in here when it's up. <laughs> okay, we got it. Reset. It always scares me because it takes like 10 minutes before you can actually restart the game. So let's start it back up. And let's move forward on this progress for a third ending now. Deep, deep beneath the earth, there lay the realms of an old king. I always love this opening. I'm never going to skip this. Never going to skip this. And hope you guys enjoy watching it as well. There's so much that this game tells you in just this opening sequence that you just don't realize. And you totally forget about it. Like that whole upper area right there, that's not something that you know about until very further into your exploration and in this game. What a wonderful studio. These guys are great. They really are. <laughs> And it's not often that you get uh, this specific score, um, this soundtrack in the game. So it's always really nice to listen to this. So we'll just sit back and relax. Talk about life. <laughs> How's everybody doing? I'm doing pretty well. Just hanging out. I hope this episode came as a good surprise throughout the week. You're just like, oh my gosh, Jacob uploaded another longing episode, finally! <laughs> I know that's how it feels for me. Ah, uh, the king. There's the mighty king. And... The little shade. The little Walter. Walter three. We had Walter Sr., Walter Jr., and now Walter III. <laughs> my powers have faded. All I have left is you, my faithful shade. All I ask of you is to wait and never to leave these caves. I shall now sleep for 400 days to gather my remaining strength. Wake me when the time has come to end all fear and longing. There's the little eyes. <laughs> okay. And we are back in our perfect little home. So this is my home. Nice place to spend the next 400 days waiting. <gasps> Walter. Okay. So you all have to let me know. What do you want me to do for this ending? We have two options. Unless there's a third one that I'm randomly forgetting and my brain's just not working. We're either waiting for the king or we're gathering all the crystals. Crystals is going to be faster. Potentially. I think it'll be about the same speed, actually, because with the king waking him, I can get the infinite book and just <laughs> click like a madman and try to get through all of this. So, a few options. There's a few options for us. And I'd love to know what we should do. Hey, we got some more coal. I'll definitely need to get some more paper. I, I'm making a painting right off the bat just so I can have this timer go down because that's going to be important to 
let me explore some of these further areas. Um, I need to go back, make it a mushroom. <laughs> make it a mushroom. I gotta go back up and make the mushroom, the bouncy mushroom again. Uh, I need to get another pickaxe. Yeah, there's still quite a bit that, that I need to have. You can never have enough lice pictures. I know you love your lice, little Walter. But right here. My first creation. Incredible. So let me grab these as well. The king warned me that I should never leave these caves. I wonder what exactly he meant by that. All right, let's pick these up. Yoink. And a yoink. Cool. And of course, I don't have enough for a fire. I need two pieces of flint first. And I do not have a mattock. <laughs> if I had a mattock, I could hack through the wall and enlarge my little home. Walter. The best. The best little boy. Best little man. He's a little man. Let's read a book. Thoughts. King told me to wait. Cool. Goose girl. Should I just enter through these, like, really quickly? Just make time go by real quick. It says 154 pages. Actually, no. I could, uh... I could leave both of these for just some idle reading when I'm not playing the game. Or at least I'll, I'll keep, I can keep Moby Dick as an idle read. <laughs> this is only 154 pages. Not too hard to accomplish. And we are done reading that one. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> and then Moby Dick is gonna be, oh, the next one. Cool. <gasps> wow, time flies. I should be reading more. All right, let's go, Walter. Go explore these magical caves. Boop. Let me get my instruments. We need to get our water source. We need to do all kinds of things here. Sweet. <laughs> king, oh king! Where have you gone? Yes, yes. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't walk back home. I'm telling you to go up there. Oh, good old king. 400 days have just begun. The king is still sleeping. I have to stay in his cavernous realm and wake him once the time has come. Alright. Time for Walter to walk. Time for him to explore. Alright. I'm trying to think of where I should go first. I guess... I have, I have a few things to do whether I'm waiting for the king or not. I need to get to the very top in any scenario. Um, let me just go to the door and start opening it. That's going to be my, I guess, my first, first objective just right now. Just so I can get all the timers started in this game. I really like these stairs. Because that, that's really all that's important right now for me. Um, there's not much I can do in this episode or this specific playthrough other than wait uh, for a lot of these things to finish and get completed. So I think I need a, a, at least a minimum of two weeks of getting through some of these, these pieces. Alright, is that coal or is that flint? I can't remember. I think they set you up with a piece of flint. Yes. Oh, more call. Okay. Sweet. Fallen brother has returned home. Hey, there's another one. Let's get see if I can get it in time. <laughs> or if it's gonna disintegrate right before me. Oh! Walter, no, Walter, no! Oh, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> oh, another one? Uh, no. Nothing, nothing that's needed. This door hasn't opened in a long time. Might take a while. It's only gonna take like 20 seconds. Not a problem at all. <laughs> all right, let's wait for this to open its little gates. There 
it is. What happens if I try to enter the door now? I could squeeze through there already, but not to wait until the door's open. In full glory would be blasphemy. I think I've already done that. I do like that. It's not just opening like this. There's actually a 3D element to it. Well done. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, you could easily go through it now, Walter. I know you could. There we go. Perfect. Walter, my boy. Blum. Slappy feet, Walter. <laughs> yeah, let's save this one. Okay, so I need all the crystals, including the super crystals, right? There's black crystal, there's red crystal, there's purple crystal, there's white crystal, and blue, if I didn't already say that just right now. Um, hmm. And I need to combine them all together, essentially, to make a portal. <laughs> Bum bum ba -dum. Okay. So first of all, let's go ahead and go into here. Nice, nice. Oh wait, yeah, this is a totally different place. I forgot. Yeah, the other side of this room has a crumbling brick up top that will eventually fall down for us. But for now, we get some paper. Thank you. I'll make some more drawings for myself. Cool. Uh, I might just go to the map room too real quick since I'm here. That will allow me to at least move a little bit further in memorizing the map. Okay, on to the other side. More paper, please. More paper, please. And a book. Perfect. Yeah, really... Uh, Again, depending on what we do for this ending, time manipulation is going to be very important either way. So let's get this paper, make some more drawings, make time speed up in my home, get some books so that we can continue reading. Awesome. And this is the brick that's going to fall down. That one, I have no idea how long it takes. That could be... That could be weeks, if not like months in the game. I always forget, this is 400 days. It's literally over a year. <laughs> it's crazy to me. All right, back on in. Let's go, Walter. All right, let's go through this door. I'm, like, trying to remember <laughs> in my brain by memory of all these places I need to, like, how to get to all these places. So let's see. And then, yeah, I think we need to walk up here, if I'm not mistaken, and go through this door. Oh no, I think this one, ooh, I think this goes to the fallen stalactite. I'll double check that though. That's another thing I need to interact with, just for timing's sake. Okay, done and done. Ah, map room, perfect. That's actually great. Oh yeah, because I, I came from the left-hand side and going back up center. Uh, awesome. So let's stand here for a brief moment. Let this map play out for us. Investigate, yes. This carving seems to show a rather crude map of the kingdom. We take some time to decipher it. Oh, we're going to take all the time in the world that's needed right now. We are going to slowly and steadily decipher this map. Let's do this, Walter. Let's brain power it. <laughs> And there it goes. Moving already. Make sure we save this just so we have it. And then I'll save it once more once it's zoomed out even further. It's all starting to make sense. I'm going to check now as well, uh, since we're going to be here, to see where uh, the hidden doors are. 
Because I know I saw the, the weird outlines the last time I looked at this map. And I'm assuming that that is always going to be the case here. Starting to understand these carvings. Yes. All right, let's get it. So obviously straight above is where I want to go right now just to start opening the door. And then from there, I don't know if I should go for the pickaxe immediately. I mean, I guess I could just to just to make sure everything is gathered. I could grab the pickaxe, go mine one of these red uh, little crystals below us and put that in my house. That way it starts speeding up time, which will allow me further opportunities to continue forth. So I think that's a good one. Um, I need to start getting more disappointments too, I believe. But let's see here. Oh. Walter just took a seat. Just bloop, plopped on down. Oh, okay. So door above. Once I get access to that, then I can get the pickaxe here. I can't remember where the other pickaxe was. I think it's uh needs to be at the mossy drop down. That's another place. And that takes two weeks as well. So it's gonna be down here where my face is, bottom right. We have the face over here, over yonder. And yeah, we still need to get to the library. Library shouldn't be too hard to, to get access to. Oh no, the library does need time as well for this little water droplet to keep falling. So we've got water droplet, we have stalactite, we have moss in the very bottom right, and then we have this door to be opened, which is gonna lead to this collapsible spot where I can stand on. Um, so that's it, that's, that's all I can focus on at the moment. Uh, let me let this zoom out just a touch more. Yeah, pickaxe pick is going to be right here where my head is. <laughs> my head's probably in the way. Right there. Right there. Get the Halls of Eternity. Get some more paper. Make some more drawings as needed. And some more books. I think I finally understood the carvings. Seems like there's a long and dark way to the top. Cool. All right. Sweet. Uh, let's save this. Shploop. Shploop. And that should be good. Let me let it zoom out just a little bit more. I want to make sure I have a full picture here. Um, so I'm trying to recall where some of the crystals are. I think the, the black crystal was right around here. Then we also have red crystal, purple crystal, birthday crystal, bottom right. So that's one, two, three, four uh and then we're gonna get i think the fifth one was in the the hidden door oh i forgot to check the hidden doorways oops that's fine and then we have the one at the very top uh so that's gonna be a good one to get to as well okay great all right walter let's go I'm starting to miss my comfortable armchair it hasn't been that long of a journey walter it's okay oh i wonder I wonder if after you zoom out, you can just double click somewhere and he walks there automatically. So I'm going to do that. I just double click there and I'm going to see what happens with that. Will he walk automatically all the way over there? Oh, I didn't. I don't think I realized that was a mechanic this whole time. Oh, uh... no. Okay, it, it's not a mechanic. Never mind. <laughs> Hoping for the best, but you know, it's okay. That would have been a good uh, good mechanic to actually implement in the game. These stairs should lead to the caves beyond the earthen pl palace. I don't think the king would like it if I ventured out there. It's okay, Walter. He won't mind too much. He won't mind too much. This game makes me so happy. Just hearing this music. Boom. <laughs> it's always so good. <laughs> These are some fine stairs. Indeed they are. Indeed they are. Oh, man. I still can't believe how hard the... That ending I just did, like, hits. 
it's... It'd be a lot more emotional if... If I didn't know what to do, and that was like the only option I could think of, and I didn't know you could restart the game. That is scary. This is the exit of the palace. I'm allowed to explore other parts of the kingdom, but I should be careful. There you go. Alright, another piece of my instrument. And then we'll start the door opening. And then we'll go ahead and head back home. And I'll have him sit on his nice little armchair again. Since this is going to take... This doesn't take too long, but... Um, oh, obviously I'll be able to kind of come back here and do some of these different things. Boop. And then let's go home. Can't wait to sit on my armchair again. No, I can't wait either. Can't wait either, Walter. Pick it up. Yoinkus. Thank you. And head on home. Cool. Yeah, I want to say maybe this is... Uh, maybe like 10 to 20 minutes of in-game time for that door to open. Since there's not really much else I can do at the moment, I'll let this kind of push through and pass by. And uh, something I want to, uh, obviously, talk to you, the viewers, about. Um, those of you who have been enjoying the series. Uh, I don't know how often I can make uh, content for this. Um, I may kind of go in and just do some very menial tasks here and there that I'm not going to record. Um, such as, like, just going and standing on that pickaxe piece. Um... As I want to, I want to be able to, I guess, come to the table with some good content that is uh, enjoyable for you all. When I'm just walking around, I know you guys really loved it, <laughs> and I did too. You really loved it for the first playthrough of just my commentary and just walking around exploring this place. Um, I find that it's, it might be a little bit difficult just between. Um, other videos that I'm currently doing for the channel. Um, obviously, if that's not the case, if there's like an extremely overwhelming majority of people that are like, yes, keep doing this like every other week or like every three weeks or every month, let me know. Um, I don't want it to be as long though as I just did it um, since it has been quite a while. I just, at that point, it's it gets to the point where people almost forget about it. Um, but of course, there's people who will always request this and always want it to come back. Um, but yeah, let me know, let me know what you all think. I'd, I really would love to hear that feedback for my channel and uh, kind of for the different things I'm looking to do with, with the longing. Um, so two endings down, a few more to go. Should be a great time. But for this particular one, I'll stick here with you while Walter walks along, give you a little bit of commentary till we get back into our most comfy of armchairs again. And we're able to give him some rest, his much needed rest. He's been walking for many hours already. <laughs> nah, he hasn't been walking too long. All right, let's do it. Wait. What is that? A piece of wood? <gasps> yes, it is. I need that piece of wood for my bed. <laughs> Jeez, I forgot where some of the like I forgot what some of these things were. So let's go ahead and grab that. E Yoink! Ah, a piece of wood might be useful for building a bed. Cool. The bed will hopefully be helpful with pushing along the timeline a lot quicker as well. Obviously, too, I don't want to do too much right now because I do want to know what you all think about which ending to go forward with, and that will actually shape how I uh, progress this specific playthrough um, and what tasks I should be seeking out and completing. The bed actually does help a lot with uh, time, lets you go through things a lot quicker. So that's what I want to be able to take a look at and check. 
because if I'm just doing the crystals, the, the bed really doesn't matter. Uh, as long as I get the never-ending notebook, that should allow me to move forward pretty, pretty quickly here. And we're almost home! About to get some slappy feets. Little slappy feet, Walter. I should just make this my background for my computer. <laughs> just get a really cool screenshot screenshot from the longing. I think I'm gonna do that actually. Have a nice little Walter background. Maybe of the king. That's always a good environment. Very colorful, very interesting to look at. Slap slap. <laughs> yes. Slappy feet! Look at that ray tracing. <laughs> Those reflections. All right, let's get this little guy down. Mama. One more fallen brother is returning home. Time to walk back home. Cool. Do I dare get that? Nah, I'm gonna find so much coal in this game. It's it's fine. <laughs> okay. And back through here. Do I get a disappointment from this little hole? I can't remember. Let's check it out. I don't know if I need the disappointments for the face. I don't think he helps me with much of this overall. He just gives me those hints. Why did I go here? I don't know, Walter. Because I insisted. All right, time to walk back home. Let's go. And we are on our way. <laughs> Perfect. King, oh king. You'll never believe what I found. I found a hunk of wood, a couple of your books across your kingdom, and some fallen brothers. I hope you don't mind if I take some of them into my little house here. I hope that you don't mind that I borrowed some of these. I will give them back to you at the end of 400 days. Man, I really want to know what happens with the crystals, though. <laughs> it's so interesting to me. Oh, yeah. Oh. I wonder what would happen if we... If we let the, the young child pick us up in the well. As well. That would be an ending, right? Or maybe it would just lead to a... A, a worse ending at the top? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's a good... Good question to think about. Hmm... Hmm. <laughs> Make some more music. Let's make another drawing. Why don't we? I don't have that color. Shouldn't be too hard to find it somewhere in the keys. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's do... Oh, Spider Buddy. Yes. We're drawing Spider Buddy. It's go time. <laughs> but I hope this has been a relaxing Wednesday for you all. It is Wednesday, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> just checking my checking my phone just to make sure. I was like, wait, am I, am my days super thrown off? I don't know. It's been a it's been a little bit of a longer week so far. A little a little extra tired this week. So apologize if I'm not super uh, <laughs> super active and interactive on camera right now. Um, but I did really want to get back into this for you all. Let's see. Let's get this spider boy all drawn up. So long, lice pictures. It's all about the spider boy. Oh, how am I supposed to get that? <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna get that piece of coal. All right, there's our spider buddy. Yes, time goes faster in the company of great art. This one deserves a special place on my wall. Yes, you know it does. Spider buddy can go right up here. Perfect. All right, let's sit down. 
enjoy our time. Sit down and read. Shoo. Read a book. Poems too. Ah, oh, yes. Click through these and we're done. <laughs> and then to end all fear and longing. He shall rise when time has come, taking the world within him, the final Armageddon. He bids his shade in slumber, O dwarf, stay at my side, for a soul can't leave this cavern, but a mere body might. Oh. The ancient king of souls unnamed, the Kaiser Great, within the castle cavern, sits in enchanted state. He did not die, but ever, waits in the chamber deep, where hidden under the well, he sat himself to sleep. The splendor of the empire he took with him away, and back to earth will bring it when dawns the promised day. Ooh, I don't think I've ever read that. Interesting. That's definitely a poem for the king. I like that. That was really cool. All right, Moby Dick, here we go. <laughs> We're just gonna sit this and leave this on idle. Oh wait, sorry. I need to actually have it open. We're gonna leave this on idle as uh, we end this episode. Like I mentioned, leave a comment down below for what you'd like to see for this playthrough. And if you enjoyed this episode, hit a like button. Even if you didn't like the ending specifically, um, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed, consider doing so. Hit the bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading videos. And as always, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Later.